Okay, we are officially live. Let me go ahead and just uh, go ahead and maximize your screen because that is the significant screen. Um, all righty, welcome everybody. This is the vtamer.exe and today I'm bringing you a more, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie here. We're bringing you a top deck, but a top deck that talked at the core regionals that occurred last week. I try to get this video out sooner I had some sound and uh, sound issues in my last video, so we had to retake it. Long story short, uh, the player that topped with this deck has been um, generous enough to offer me another opportunity to record this. So here we are, and go ahead and introduce yourself. All right, well, you guys may know me from the podcast, um, Talix, a.k.a. Shane. Um, yeah, I went to, uh, I took part in the three regionals, um, the core TCG, the top cut, and the part of one. But the deck that I got 10th place with, Imperial, was the core TCG one last week. So, yeah. Color me surprise, Imperial Jamon. Mm -hmm. okay. I am a tier slave. I am a slave to the tiers. Okay, but... so, w w okay, so would you say, would you, do you believe it's the best deck in the format before you get started on this profile? You know what? It needs, it comes down to your build and it comes down to the pilot. When it comes down to the rapid verse, this matchup, it it really comes down to how well you can navigate security. That's it. Okay. All right. So, rapid run. Rapid run hybrid players, mm -hmm. take note. All right. So, go ahead. Let's get started with this deck profile. What do we got? All right. So, first up, let's go through the babies. Okay. So, five babies. Okay. Obviously. Demi, Vmon, draw one when you swim with the Digimon with jamming. Perfect. Draw that's one. That's all you need. Drawing good. is good. Drawing is good. That's good. That's all standard. Right. Final baby, Boopamon. Draw baby. Um, you can use Boopamon. You can use the power up Demi Vmon. Um, both are good, but I prefer drawing. I really like to draw. So. Okay. Uh, real quick, have you considered uh, playing four eggs instead of the five? Imperial Jamal is one of those decks that could possibly end game before it hits the fifth egg, but did the fifth egg ever come up in your, any of your matches? Uh, yes, against Yellow Rapid, because I play a special... Oh, well, I play Meet Me, so I need the mm, fifth egg to cycle through really fast. Meet Me. All right. Yeah. Sick. Okay, cool. All right. So then we're going to go through the rookies now. Thirteen rookies. All right, so first four rookies is going to be the Searcher V. Um, speaks for himself. Searches all your pieces. XP, Stingmon, Nitromon, Magnamon, Imperials. Yep. Okay. He's a definite four. It, is there, um, in this deck, he, does he search out everything in this deck, or is there like a Mon that he cannot search out? Or do you have um, any Mons that he, you don't have to name it just yet, but... Yeah, uh, there are three cards, this card, uh, three Digimon cards that this card cannot search. Okay. Um, actually, five, five. I'm five. sorry, five. We have to include two rookies. Who will okay. we'll, we'll, we'll see? Up. But anyways, um, next rookie... Um, I play four of the classic uh, Vmon. Um, I play four of them because the memory is super important. One memory, really important. You want to make sure you have Lobo per game or you need to extend your plays by just like not expending so many Hammer Spark. Basically, Hammer Spark on legs. Hammer Spark on legs. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. All right. Now this is your favorite part. We have the one of Vmon package. Jamming V, 1.5 V. And BTA uh, dual color search V. Um, all right, just the open in the room. One else because this one, the dual color search V. <laughs> I found that playing two of this. <laughs> Real quick, you're busting yes. my balls here. <laughs> the three one ofs, the one of we're playing for consistency at a regionals, and you're like, yes. I'm gonna play one, one, and one. Yes. Oh man, that this hurts is, me. And for anyone who's watching, your, this, this right here, this. Um, okay, let's just go through. So dual color, okay. If I when I played two of this, there were so many instances where I just kept milling key pieces like XVs and Stings and Tamers or just just other V bombs <laughs> in general, and I did not like that. Okay. So I wanted to keep him at one just in case. Him, I didn't want to draw as much, but Excuse having one me? with an inheritable was good. Okay. Just in case if I ever needed it. And Jamming V, he I can hard play him to Swing at him, try to make them do something, or, you know, the usual VT 1.5 stuff, you know, 1.5 combos, Demi V, Swing, Draw 1. But, yeah. <laughs> you know what, and for, for the viewers here, uh, thanks again for watching, by the way. Please like and subscribe. 
But I did want to mention that Talix here is a member of the podcast that we have not done lately. And I just kind of feel that he's played the 1-1-1 one, one, one ratio of these VMOs just to spite me. So, you know what? I can't say anything. You got to top with it. But uh, I really, really do not like this. But you topped. So, congratulations. What's next, rookie? You know what? I will, <laughs> I will take that. I am your hero anyway. So, all right. Anyways, um, the best rookie in this deck to Madoki's. This card, this, this card, this card, Bro, they have to answer this card. Um, if they don't have their Memset Tamer, they have a Mem Boost. You then try to stifle them, put them at one. Um, right. Yeah. No, it's 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 an insane card. Now, all, the only thing, you know, obviously is your deck profile, but something I want to mention to the viewers is a lot of times this card is very deadly when you play it at the right time. So, like, sometimes people just play turn one, like, just to throw it out there, but that's not optimal sometimes because, you know, there's a lot of answers to it. You know, Raidramon and everything else in every color, right? But, mm -hmm. but this card's most deadly when you're putting tons of pressure on your opponent and then you slap it on board. And then they have to answer this before they answer anything else. And so, mm -hmm. so I just want to make note of that. Because since it, I, used to, you know, I misplayed with this card a lot before and I didn't like it, but I realized it wasn't the card. It was me as the player. I had to look internally and be like, okay, this is how you're supposed to play these cards. Mm -hmm. and so, exactly. And you know, for all you Master Duel players, Equivalently, equivalently, um, it's basically like setting up your four and just setting the floodgate to have rivalry or uh, there can only be one. It's, so, it's something sort of like that, basically, yeah. Yeah, let's do it the way. <laughs> All right, so that's 13 rookies. Uh, let's go to our champions. It's going to be a 13 champion lineup. So 13, that's pretty heavy. Yeah, I know. It, it, it was very heavy, but it paid off. Well, you'll see the options, but yeah, okay, so first... Um, Champions, XV Mon, I mean, what's there to say? Jamming right. on legs can give jamming to a free and imperial, so. Really busted card. Very good card. What's there to say? And this card, no this risk. card, Sting Mon, this, me and this card, me always, is always in my hand. I'll never see, I'll never see this card in my hand. <laughs> when I did your and raising, I draw him. This, I mean, yeah, I mean, he, he's really good. Not once per turn, draw one, I mean, no. he has to be in the deck. Okay. Yeah, you, it's a standard. Well, okay, so yeah. eight so far. Eight so far. All right, so now the armor package. We have the Lydras. Um, uh, the regional prior to this, I was using the Dinosaur instead, okay. but in that regional, Mastamon has one. So I was hoping that to deal with Godawan, this this is just a better um, Digimon wow. to deal with that. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. It just only yeah. pains me that they call it Lydramon. I don't know where they got that name from, but it's it's uh, Rydramon, it's Thunder. It's Thunder exactly. Dragonmon, and anyway, not the point. Your deck profile. Uh, go, let's go yeah, on. Yeah, but, but it's good no, card. No, no, I, share, I, I share your pain. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. Rydramon. It should be Rydra, you know? But... Bandai. <laughs> Come on, man. All, All right. right. And then... Anyways, so that's 11. So then final armor package, Magnamon. Magnamon. Um, he, he did come up. Um, the best part is when this is hitting security and it's in grave. This is when it's the most deadly. When it's in really? grave, that means uh, one of the ultimates I can use is from grave will just oh, just I help see. so much. Okay, I understand. But yeah. Um, also, reset ability is always good. Pairs with a jamming B to put some more pressure on. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a good card. And it's, uh, yeah, and I like the combo with this and, and uh, Raijumon. You know, you tackle Raijumon. Oh, I'm assuming yeah. you have the memory beam on the hammer spark beam on under it, right? If it yeah. dies, you did evolve into this guy, you gain a memory from the beam on, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then this reduces the cost by th by one. If the digivolve is over a beam on, so it effectively becomes a two cost 9k blocker, which is pretty underrated, really nasty. Yeah, so good. Um, I mean, he is the gold ranger, aka Trey from Triforia. Yeah, Triforia, yeah. baby, let's go. All right, All right what's finally. number 13? So, it's so strange, like, like, the best cards in this deck aren't the Beemon cards, it's, like, these cards, like, Madoki and Lobo. Lobo, he put in so much work. 5k, swing over opposing Stigmon, swing over other 4k, swing, like, he did, his job was to make sure to swing over XVs to just, even if I gave up my only Memsub Tamer and they only had Stigmon or XV on the board, mm -hmm. his job was to literally just power over or just go for game. That was okay. it. Sick. Will you consider playing uh, another copy of this card in the future? Uh, no, uh, no, no, because okay. um, 
you saw you like you saw it the right number because if you're if you're saying this card's really nasty, I would just imagine yeah. maybe. But okay. Um. Yeah, I, I like him. He's perfect in one. He's perfect. absolutely perfect in one. Sounds good. All right. So that's the thirteen rookies. Now we're going to the ultimate. Six of these guys. All right. Six. Yeah, six. So obviously, high heel. I mean, there's this card's really good. I yeah. Mean, that's it. it. This card's good. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's it. This card's good. <laughs> yeah. There's that. I can't. It's I can't put this. Okay. So finally, the I'm not playing Dino Beat. Instead, I'm playing Chimera. Oh. Okay. Um, I felt like in this situation i felt like chimera was better for my deck because i wanted to have as much utility as i could with magna uh, attaching madoki attaching stingmon using my graveyard for resources because something that's something that blue kind of lacks being able to use the graveyard efficiently because you're usually swinging with your emons and whatnot right and like thing goes from security you know like it'd be good to like attach it and possibly go dragon mode and bring those pieces out so yeah he did, he, he did really good. Good job. Okay. Good card. Now, now this is your fifth and sixth uh, ultimate. Did you ever yeah. miss the Dino Beam on? Um, no, I did not. Okay. Dino Beam just, he did, he never turned up. This this card saved me way more than Dino Beam. Okay. And it probably will yeah. in the future because uh, for the viewers, uh, this card's really good against a new mother deck, deck that comes out in uh, EX2. Um, it mm -hmm. gets rid of a lot of the searchers. Um, those cards, you know, aren't affected by card effects that target monsters that have levels, but they can be DP reduced, and Chimera on being a generic DP reducer is really good at clearing a lot of their board. So, if you guys have mm -hmm. some, great. If you guys don't, pick up your Chimera Mons now. Really good. Next format. Yeah, this card's really good. Really good card to see right now and release. Um, okay, alright, so level 6 is... How many? Alright, there's, there, I mean... Two dragon mode, okay. two fighter mode. Hey, that's the standard. That's all I need. Yeah, standard. standard. You okay. can. I saw someone using three dragon mode, but if you use three dragon mode, that means you have to play Dino B at that oh, point. Oh, okay. Because you want to be able to draw us more. But yeah. Right. Standard. Okay. standard. They all did their job. They did their job perfectly. Any any sort of unique things about these cards in any of your matchups? Um. Or okay. Uh, I DP reduced a uh, Ofani mon and then did the thing where you know go like this and then. Bounce it. Oh, um, yeah, you're right. That's yeah. pretty good. Same, <laughs> yeah. Same thing with this. Um, I add Chimera into Dragon Mode and then bring out XV and Sting. And then DP reduce something by 3 or 4. Or, mm -hmm. And then I'll bring it to 6K and then bottom deck with Pyro. Oh, okay. You got yeah, fancy so. combos. All right. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting how this deck works with Chimera and itself. So. Yeah, Chimera Mode just seems All right. Time for the mascot. We all know who this is. We all know. Level 7, Paladin Mode. You love to Did. see it. Alright, well, he, uh, we all know he, Satoros likes to see it, but <laughs> yeah, this card did nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. It, just was, it was dead in my hand. It was either 16k security. That's it. It just did nothing. I was hoping to see Mascot Mode more, but I didn't. Not a single basketball player. Yeah, we might we might have to not upload this video anymore. This video might have to be censored now. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, if you want to bleep and blur all this out, and throw my hands <laughs> over this thing and everything, or just bleep out. But yeah, this this card this card can go out. This, uh, okay. I mean, if you have if your locals runs on a master, play this. But if they don't, just don't even bother. Just, okay, so you know, did, yeah. what, what would you I guess uh, consider? Well, actually, let's go at the. I'll wait until the end of the video. Uh, video all right, okay, yeah, let's put them to the side. We'll okay. talk about. Okay, so Chamber lineup, two Davis, yeah. I mean, you need at least two, two DNKs, and then finally one Mimi. Mimi overperformed, very much overperformed. Overperform, very okay. good card. Oh, it's good. I wanted to run another, but uh, I mean, I had to make some room for other stuff, so. Okay. But very good card. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I agree. This card's very underrated. Does, like, it's funny because in a green deck, you know, green, yeah. you usually have control type of decks, right? Outside of, uh, what was it, Grand Kuagamon that had the ulti or the green OTK? Green's generally yeah. a control deck. So, mm -hmm. you know, Mimi in a control deck is kind of annoying, really good, just a very oppressive controlling. But in a deck yeah. like this, an aggressive deck that adds like another layer of aggression, it's super busted. I hate this card. Yeah, <laughs> this card will help you in the Rapid Mod matchup for sure. Yeah. Definitely for sure. Okay. Sick. So that was five tamers. All right, options. Three hammer spark. Okay. I mean, 
what's there to say? This this is hammer spark. This is the card right here. You stack them in security. You stack them uh, in. You and yeah, you get them. You get them when you need them. Yep. You see them when you need them. All right. And then two mega death. Okay. Very good card. Did its job. If it's in security, good. If it's in your hand, good. It's searchable with um, dual color V. Very good card. As as is the dual color. Oh, dual color chain was correct. Oh, uh, dual color chain. Yeah. The so one demon that you play could potentially search one of these. Yep. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if searching this out and adding it to hand and the opponent sees it, that scares them so much. That's pretty, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, so two of that. Um, one blue memory boost. Um, this was supposed to, this was supposed to be a 14th rookie, but mm -hmm. I changed it out for a blue memory boost because there were times where I just need, like, a little bit more than a hammer spark or okay. just not a rookie or just I don't want to play anything on board that would die. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. this was a good card. Yeah, I, I like Memory Boost a lot in this format and even in the next format. There's a oh. lot of Tamer hate in the current format. So like Black War, Grey Mom, Moss Demon, oh. and everything else. Very oppressive. You, you run a bunch of Tamers, those cards will potentially blow you up. And Memory mm -hmm. Boost kind of are only stopped by the Memory Blockers, like the Froggy to your left. But, you know, if your deck can yeah. out the Memory Blockers, and Memory Boosts are like really strong picks in the current format. Yeah, so okay. Good card. Yeah. Um, all right, the best one else in the game. In potential ice wall, yeah. that these are good cards. I can't believe I'm playing a deck with 40 both of these. I really can't. I cannot fathom why these two are in the same deck together. But yeah, uh, it's uh okay, sick. All right. Now, uh, how how soft? Yeah, okay. Okay. okay so, What's up? so no, actually, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So this one right here, Paladin mode. All right. So I was thinking, um, you could put in another mega like. Uh, Shivamon or Argomon because um, this is pretty good. You what you uh, let's get Pi Heal out here. You go Pi Heal. You swing. You restand. You gain a memory for Classic B. You swing again. You're at one memory. You digivolve into this so you can stop. You can oh, floodgate their right, options. That's right. what I was thinking. That's not a bad option. Right. You go Argomon. You can go. I can't go Nidhogg. I mean, you could go Nidhogg mm -hmm. actually, but then I would like. I prefer Dino B. So. Okay. Um. But uh, if you want to play like an option or a tamer, you could play another Mimi, uh, you could play another Mem Boost, or you could play another Mega Mega Death. Okay. Over this. Okay, okay. I feel like, yeah. All right. So those are the possible, yeah. Well, super sick. Well, well done. You got uh, that's an, actually a pretty good breakdown. Thanks for for this video. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun playing this deck. Like it was fun actually playing a deck that could draw cards and use these powerful cards like ice yeah. Wall, hbd hammer spark like man very wow. powerful deck pretty good and i'm glad it's and i'm glad it's imperial i'm glad it's the imperial land that's getting these powerful cards yeah, are you a big imperial fan i don't know you uh, yeah i liked him when i was little um okay. uh, vmon was really cool i liked him over Agumon any day uh okay same yeah okay i mean because he because he's blue you know i mean you know <laughs> all right all right well that's the deck list guys thanks thanks again so if people okay so people want to come and play and find you where can they reach you at where where you're seeing all right so fridays we got final cut tcg um really good we, we uh, yesterday we just had 20 we had a 29 man tournament so okay. so where, where are you guys yeah. based you guys are in norcal yeah uh, norcal rancho cordova sacramento people and for Seven those of you who don't know, they have actually really good players out there. So if you're trying to grind, if you're trying to prep for regionals, hit up those guys on Discord or just show up to that city and grind out some games with them because they, they know their stuff. And it's really fun. And when you play Digimon, Digimon's a fun game. It's even more fun when you're playing with you know a lot of people that know everything about the card pool. So check them out. But anything else you want to say, Shane, before I conclude the video? Uh, let's see. Of course, shout out to uh, Satoros, you know, he had to be the better man and actually look at a, do a deck list on an actual good blue deck, not a 121st place in the deck, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever was on the channel, whatever place that was. Hey man, that was a draft, a deck that I took two originals as a draft. Like I went in there not expecting to do anything with it and it did pretty uh -huh. sick, so. Okay, and then you ran into yellow rapid and what happened? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video, and that was great. <laughs> <laughs>
thanks to everyone who tuned in. I try to keep it short. 20 minutes is a cap, and we met that. So, uh, again, if you like this stuff, like, subscribe. Thanks again. I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, ciao. Bye-bye.